Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a go to the post office and ship out this package that some lovely person purchased. Ooh, did I show their address? Nope. That this lovely person purchased two bags for me. So they are going out today, and today is a Monday, the March the 18th. So you'll be seeing this on Tuesday, March the 19th. And I'm using my really cute purse that I thrifted. So this is my BOTD bag of the day. I love it with the little wood handles. It's minimalistic and I'm actually working with it. It's working great. So here's that. It's got these cute little, little tassel balls at the end. And I actually, can you guys believe it? I actually went into my jewelry and I put on some of my favorite pieces with this really cute little heart bracelet with rhinestones on it and I got this little beauty here that's got the that's beaded and I got this on here it looks like Brighton and I don't know if it is because that's thrifted that's thrifted this is from my sis Lisa Lisa Rafferty if you're watching I love my bracelet she got it for me for Christmas and then I have this lovely here and then I'm actually wearing one of my rings so how about that you guys i'm getting fancy with my jewels and all that stuff it's actually fun and you know what i would totally wear this stuff more but i just forget i forget i have it and i'm always like hurry up get ready run out the door because i've got like eighty thousand things to do in a day so i'll see you guys at tj max Goodbye. so did you guys know that this is going to be all the rage now are these little teeny tiny purses actually randy was the first one to point it out you found it not this, but the article on little tiny purses being all the rage. Um, 1999. So little. Here's my hand. So it's the same size as my hand. But yeah. So I don't know. You can't even. I can't even fit my cell phone in one of these. Here's this little one here. Little teeny tiny bags are going to be the thing, I guess, for this upcoming season, if they're not already. Some little lily bloom here. And they're 25. This is $30, so I don't think that it's um, Patricia Nash. No, it's not. With a gold kipling.
that'd be fun to decorate. 1999 Latier fashion. I'm really having fun with like, I don't want to say bling because it's not like rhinestone-y stuff like that. It's more like stones and patches that I'm doing on um, bags and things right now and it's really fun. I'm really enjoying it. I did one. I did a video on. It was pretty much simple. I'm going to try to get a little bit more detailed on a lot of my stuff. But for now, I'm just kind of looking around and seeing what I can find bag-wise to do that to. This little clutch is cute. It's got silver with rose gold. $16.99. Again, there's really nothing new here. Pretty much seen all of it here. I liked Marshall's bags better. They had a lot better um, selection of new stuff, I guess I could say. There's this furry. It's faux fur, actually. And it is 70 bucks. Why? And it's got leather trim, but the fur is faux. and stuff on that. Big chunky zippers. $30 from Expressions NYC. I do like that one. Uh, let's see, what else do we got? Here's that same little clutch with in black. I mean, you can really Fit nothing in it though, right? Some papers and a cell phone. What is this here? Kathy Ireland, BB. These are new. These little backpack purses. Um, Stone Mountain, 1999. There's this style here. And then there's also the flap style here. Love the interior color. Well, that's cute. This one's $29.99. Stone Mountain little studs and sequins yeah that's cute lots of detail I like that okay here's a black style Lily Pulitzer with a leather entwined chain with green and blue palm trees on the front and it's $50. This is a cute little Kipling floral with um, this little guy on it. I like that one, a little crossbody and it's $35.
Enzo wallet is pretty. And I like the style. That's really cute. And it is only $10.99. This is leather, you guys. That's a great deal. Here's a Dooney and Burt cosmetic bag, see-through plastic. And it's 20 bucks. Here's a wallet a lot of you guys were looking for that I have. It's on clearance for $48. But it's missing the wristlet strap. And this is, um, the name is, um, let me see, I can't remember now. Hold on, let's see. It's Alexander Wing. Cute wallet. But I don't know if anybody would still want it because it's missing the strap. So cute though. The bee backpack is back by Betsy Johnson. That was out last year. Little ballerina. Somebody just left their cart with a purse in it. That's kind of weird. Little Juicy Couture crossbody. $20. There's a travel on. They've got them. These are kind of cool. This one is cool. It's a anti-theft bag. Heritage collection tour bag. I could totally decorate that up. It is um, $25. Huh, there's little pins too. Let's see. These little patches are $2.49, and then these pins are really cute. Banana cherries. Let's see what all is there. Bananas, cherries, and watermelon. More here. Oh, look at these patches are really cute. Oops. And then there's also oh, unicorn. And then the rainbow it says hi. Oh, and then there's some little pins over here. Like this. Oh, I like this one back here. The champagne diamond ring and lips. Really cute. Really, really cute. And no problema. <laughs> and here's some little these here. That's cute. For us DIY folks. What are these up here? Little poofs with diamonds on them for $2.99. There's pink and red with silver. I have one of these things and I love it. Love, love, love it. These are only $5.99, you guys. I have little, um, mine came with like little berry lights in it and I light it up tonight. It's really cute. Good price, $5.99. That one says dream and then there's some down here that say glow. And then the little glass vases, Faith and Believe. Oh, how cute these little candy dishes are. That one says treat, enjoy, really cute. Let's see, we have a Be Well, I have that one. So there's three Be Wells, they're $5.99.
know that that box is killing me. I'd love to be digging through that right now. We have tons and tons of purses in there that I can't go through because it's high behind the jewelry counter, you guys. Shucks. Oh well. I guess I'm a little bit too early to the game for that one. So if you guys like any of the bracelets that I have on, like the beaded ones, you guys can get them here. Similar ones they have anyways. Um, they're only, what are they? Oh, they're $16.99. I have this one, Sacred Stone Circles, and then it's got information about them. There's this one, but every TJ Maxx is different. I really like that one. That one's really pretty, and that one's 20 so in case you're wondering where you could pick up something similar, this would be one of the places. What is this down here? Magic Globe, Hope and Dreams. Got little stones in it, that's cute. I am calm. So here's, uh, there's calming oil in this one somebody took. Thanks for hanging out with me, y'all, and doing our little TJ Maxx excursion visit shop with me. Didn't buy anything type of fun video. <gasps> Golly, Cam, clean that box out of here, would ya? Ter terrible, terrible, I tell ya. All right, you guys, I'm going to go, and I'm going to get something to eat for lunch. Um, I don't know. Um, I would totally do a mukbang for you, but they gross me out. I mean, you know what? I might try, I might do that. <laughs> I might do it someday because people love that stuff. I just, ref like you guys know, I refuse to eat in front of people because I think it's the most rude thing you can do as a YouTuber, sit there and smack your food. Ugh. My misophonia and smacking, if you guys don't know, like, it's a murderous thing. I cannot stand to listen to people chew or pop gum. I know a lot of you have that same problem. Mine is bad. Mine is real bad, y'all. So I'm going to turn the camera off so I can eat after I figure out what I'm going to get. And then, uh, yeah, if you guys, if you guys want me, maybe I'll do it with Reed. He'd be fun to do a mukbang with because he can eat. That boy can eat. If you guys want me to do a mukbang, 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 whatever they're called let me know um it would definitely be different and probably i don't know how exciting it would be i have no idea just let me know you guys if you don't trust me i get it because yeah people don't eat in front of the camera unless it's a mukbang video bam that's it bye guys love you stay humble stay kind bye